It's a move aimed at re-establishing order in Haiti as the country grapples with a surge in gang violence. A month after Prime Minister Ariel Henry announced he would step down, the country's government has issued a decree formalising the creation of a transitional presidential council. The Caribbean Community and Common Market, which worked with Haiti to establish a framework for the council, hailed the news. The establishment of the nine-member broad-based politically inclusive council signals the possibility of a new beginning for Haiti. In the wake of Henri's announcement, the council is tasked with choosing a new prime minister and cabinet. Haiti has been without a president since the assassination of Jovenel Moïse in 2021. The council will exercise certain presidential powers until the inauguration of a new president, which the decree says must take place no later than the 7th of February 2026. But certain details, including the names of the members and a time frame for replacing Henri, have not been clarified. The council is intended to help establish conditions for the deployment of an international police force to tackle increasingly powerful armed gangs. Amid the violence, locals are facing a dire humanitarian situation. I'm in Port-au-Prince, where there's been violence since late February. Uh, this violence has caused massive displacement. Uh, it's uh, shut down schools, it's shut down uh, places of work, uh, and we're facing a humanitarian crisis here. Right now, WFP is trying to provide food assistance to the displaced population. We've uh, been able to provide between 20 and 30,000 hot meals every single day. As the gangs tighten their grip on the capital, Port-au-Prince, nearly 95,000 people have fled the area in the last month.